Your, okay, your drug you're working on is EPO. Can someone explain to me the links you've made here? Keely? Um, well, EPO is a peptide hormone, so it increases um, your red blood cells, giving more oxygen to the muscles. So okay. people like cyclists use it. There's other peptide hormones like growth hormones, um, and then that increases the growth of your muscle bones, so it can lead to abnormal growth. Um, EPO can give a loss of fertility, possible strokes, high blood pressure, um, and its actual name is erythropoietin. Erythropoietin, well done, thank you very much. Okay, Mar, your, your essay question was to discuss the impact of fitness testing on elite level sport. Can you explain to me your plan for your essay question here? Um, I split up, split up the parts of the essay into three sections. These are mainly the advantages of fitness testing, like can map progress, categorize players, can set targets, to see whether a, tra a certain training program is effective or not. What do you mean by that? Um, there's no point really doing a training. Uh, normally you would test before a training training program and then after a player has gone through that they will test again to see whether they've improved. Okay, brilliant. Carry on. Um, there are also there are some disadvantages of training, fitness training. Things that could go wrong, say, like in Dubai where the climate is hot most of the year, that will affect results the same way if it's, if it's colder. Which okay, what's the word for that, all these things that um, you know, will affect the, um, the outcome? Unreliable. Okay, yeah, that's the reliability, well done. And then um, sometimes ha it has to be valid as well. So there's okay, what, what, does the validity, what does validity mean? It um, means whether the test that you're doing actually um, fulfill what you're trying to find out. Hi right, Scott, can I um, can you explain the links you've made here on the table? We've got the fitness test over here and over there there's the exercise sessions. And we've made a link for specificity. Um, can you explain what you mean by the link with specificity? Yeah, um, different uh, athletes need have different individual needs so we need to make it adapted to them. And um, an example is uh, different athletes such as a swimmer might need a different test to a football player, so the football player might have an agility test, or the swimming swimmer, swimmer might have, a, like a, have to swim a couple of lanes. Okay, thank you.